Hi everybody, this is Pete, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the new undo, redo, and custom filter creation tools that are available in Camera Lucida 16.0 and higher. I'm in the draw mode, I've already selected an image to draw, I'm going to push this toolbox button. Now these are all the filters you can apply, but at the top, you can see now there are some new menu features for undoing, redoing, storing, replaying, that sort of thing. And how it works is that as you make edits, like 64 colors, sepia tone, grayscale, all of those changes are thrown into an edit list that is available via your history button, okay? And as you hit the undo button, you step through those changes. The redo moves you forward in the list, okay? You can also, of course, click on any one feature, and you don't have to have the history button up. You can just hit the undo or the redo buttons by themselves. So that's how that works. Now, let's do the undo all, which is the same as reset to original, so there's nothing in the uh, history list. And let's do our own custom command. So I'm gonna do this by saying Gaussian blur twice. Then I'm going to select the color palette tool and I'm going to select a color palette that uses, say, 12 colors, okay? I'll apply that. And now if I look at the history, you'll see here that it has those two Gaussian blurs, blurs and the color palette tool. Now if I want to save that, all I have to do, sorry about that, is hit the store button. And it gives me three slots to store it in. And I just pick the slot that I want to store it in, like slot one. And it's done. And it says, oh, do you want to save that as that particular set of commands? And if I say yes, then I was using this previously. So it says, do you want to overwrite it? And I say yes. Then you can hit the replay on a new function. So let's say I was to hit the reset to original like I had a brand new image. Right? There's nothing in my history. And I wanted to apply those two Gaussian blurs in the color palette. Well, when I hit the replay, I can hit slot one. And it asks, do you want to apply these changes? And if I say yes, it's going to sit there and one at a time, it's going to replay them in the exact order that I specified them in. Now, when you use something like the color palette, it's actually going to store the actual color palette that was used. So you can use a particular color palette and apply it to many images and make all of those images look like they have the same color palette. If you use the posterize feature, it's going to remember how many steps that you use in the posterize feature. So the function is really powerful. Now let's say that you didn't want to call it slot one, slot two, slot three. Well, let's change this here to slot two. And I'm going to change the name of slot two by just holding my finger on this for a long press. And it brings up a new keyboard and I'm just gonna call this demo. Maybe I'll call it demo space two, okay? And you hit done. And now you have renamed it to be demo two and I can hit that button, okay? And it says, oh, do you want to confirm all of those including the posterize at the end? And I can say yes. Now it also is telling me, oh, demo two is already in use because this isn't the first time I've actually tried to do this. So I'll say yes. Now, if you want to replay that, I'll go back and I will reset to original. If I hit the replay button, you'll notice it now says demo two. So you can name these things anything that you want. Ask you to confirm, I say yes. It'll apply all of those steps in the order that you applied them and boom, there you've got the image that is the result of that custom set of commands. Very powerful, very cool. If you've got any questions, email me. This is covered in the manual as well. As always, feel free to send me emails on anything whatsoever. Thanks very much, bye.